Addressing Social Inequality with Sustainability, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 321. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is G. Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 321, May 19th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about is addressing social inequality with sustainability how our models are designed to specifically address social inequality with sustainability. And it's really not such a complex idea. If you look at the roots of social inequality, like why do we have caste systems? Why do we have people that are treated less than other people? Why does this exist? And what is it that people really, really want? And our goal is not to try and even the playing field. Our goal is to, to provide the foundations, the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for people anywhere in the world to create a life for themselves that most people would consider to be better than the way that the average American is living today. That most Americans, one of the richest and wealthiest and most prosperous nations in the world, would still consider living this way to be better than the way they're living right now. If you look at statistics on depression that are going up in this country and medication uses that are going up in this country and mortality rates and things like that, I mean, we're, we could do a lot better. And so one community is meant to provide the foundations for people that want to do that to be able to do that. And it's created in such a way that the model is designed to spread it around the world. And the more that it cooperates and collaborates with the existing communities and integrates, the more successful it's meant to be. And so this is how we see ourselves as addressing social inequality with sustainability is by building sustainable foundations for the teacher demonstration hubs, the city center, everything you see happening in the background of the video here, building those those foundations of on sustainability with a social architecture and component that invites the world to participate and that integrates in with local communities, that integrates in with communities in other countries and creates a global cooperative, a global initiative working together for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so our idea from a, from a humanitarian and philanthropic standpoint, other than helping people that just want to live differently and live better and do the right thing for the planet and for their families, to eat higher quality food, to drink clean water, to breathe clean air, to be making a positive difference in the world just through their very existence and the way that they choose to live. That's the highest good foundation of one community, that. But for people that want to go out and do the next step, people that want to join our global cooperative and our global initiative to create a better world for everybody, the model is designed to be able to be replicated anywhere in the world. And Arguably, it should be ridiculously easier to replicate in other places that have lower building codes, that have easier, lesser, lesser restrictions on construction, things like that, where materials will be even cheaper, where labor will be even cheaper, where land will be cheaper and more available. But it's designed not to just go in and just terraform an area. It's designed to integrate in. It's designed to take resources to the places you could. You could build anywhere in the world and just build yourself your own awesome eco-community and basically escape from everything. That's totally fine. That's still for the highest good because it's still sustainable. It's still built with, with sustainability practices and on a foundation of highest good uh, philosophy and design. But for people that really want to make a difference, rather than going and giving food to somebody, why don't we go and teach them how to build food forests? Why don't we take the resources? Why don't we provide internet access? Why don't we build a teacher demonstration hub that's designed specifically to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well? Rather than giving a man, a person, a fish, let's teach them to fish. And in this case, fishing means how to build sustainable infrastructure, energy infrastructure, food infrastructure, housing infrastructure, as well as highest good approaches to economic models, fulfilled living practices, education models, and true earth stewardship, becoming stewards of our environment, people that are specifically conscious and conscientious of how we can take care of our surrounding and to improve it, improve it for us, improve it for our families, improve it for our friends, improve it for our surrounding community, and improve it for the world. 
This is what one community is doing. This is how we're addressing social inequality with sustainability is we're designing a model to lift people up, to take people that could be on the edge of bankruptcy and say, okay, you can pool what resources you have together and get together with 40, 50 of your friends and have a model to where you can get out of debt, stay out of debt, never have debt again in your life and create a completely new way of living. To take this model to other countries where people are really, really needing energy infrastructure, high quality water, a way to process human waste that's not polluting their rivers and their drinking water. To take these models to those places and to teach them how to do these things in a way that benefits the teacher as well as the people that are receiving that. To build a teacher demonstration hub that fully meets the needs of everybody living there and thrives even more the more it invites other people to participate and cooperate and collaborate and if they follow our model for an ecotourism destination to generate sufficient revenue to expand indefinitely and to teach and help others to be able to expand as well. Contributing to the global cooperative for the highest good of all life on this planet because the model is specifically designed to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate itself as attractive enough so it will spread and replicate on its own. This is a path to creating a world that works for everybody. And that's what I've dedicated my life to. That's what our team is all about. We're a 100% volunteer. Almost 400 volunteers have contributed to the project at this point. And we're all unpaid, including myself, doing this because we want to live this way, because we want to teach other people how to live this way. And we know that it's possible to create a world that is truly sustainable, a sustainable civilization, a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And the people that want to keep their private jets can. Want to have 10 cars? You can. We'd like to believe that those people would also like to live in one of these eco-communities and they can still do that if they want to. Maybe they'll build a larger home, you know, or maybe they'll want to say, why, what if we applied this model and provide housing for everybody that's working in our factories? You know, housing and food and energy infrastructure so that they had partial ownership of the complete village that they created and it became one of the most amazing places to work, which is the industry model that comes at the end of the seven different villages for us. So we're addressing all of this stuff simultaneously, creating it open source, free shared for the highest good of all life on this planet and everybody's invited to participate. And so with that said, here's one week of our all volunteer teams, progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of addressing social inequality with sustainability for the highest good of all life on the planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created a new Murphy bed parts list and did 3D testing to make sure all the assembled pieces of the storage area could be moved into that area when the wall is assembled and in place. You can see some of this work here. The core team, with the help of Jean-Michel Balanzia, also researched and added another heat exchanger option to the resources section of the communal eco shower page. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bank Village. Here's weekly update 159 from Dean. This week, he worked on rebuilding the walls and other four dome cluster elements to match the new layout we created last week in AutoCAD. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 51st week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was creating the initial procurement layout shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished adding 3D vines and SketchUp for the city center library columns, then we modified the overhead foliage to produce these draft renders. The core team also continued with week 10 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the duplicate city center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week's focus was initial contour dam design and finding a suitable place for building a dam like this in the actual property imports from Google Earth. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey-Ann Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 21st week helping with the duplicate city center interior design details. This week's focus was outdoor grading and waiting area furniture for the social dome, art for the bedrooms, and paint, flooring, and furniture for the cupola. 
Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, also continued with a second week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week he finished modeling all the rooms and worked on repairing the various surfaces and surface matching. And Zeyu Zhu, mechanical engineer, also joined the team and started working on increasing the capacity and finalizing the rainwater catchment designs for the city center. This week he researched data on extreme rainfall events in various reservoirs. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, completed the work breakdown structure for all the remaining phase one highest good food action items. The core team also completed the first week of a free permaculture course being offered by Oregon State University. We'll be using this information to help us further develop the open source permaculture design page. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include Comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team experienced catastrophic computer failure that led to us needing to replace one of our main computers and rebuild the template we use for these blogs. The template now has an easier to update and replicate standardized filing formatting system, new images and better transitions, and five different backup areas. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also continued with our sixth week of updating our business plan and project management strategy. This week's focus was finalizing the SWOT analysis component. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 30th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the ad group campaigns for the pages covering highest good, fulfilled living, highest good society, wind energy, solar energy, and thermal lag. He also started keyword research for the open source lighting design landing page. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of addressing social inequality with sustainability for the highest good of all life on the planet. And yeah, this is it. So if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. And if you'd like the easiest way to help out, uh, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you can get our weekly updates and uh, manage your updates that way. And uh, join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks, all the popular other ones to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, to engage with what it is that we're creating, to share it with people that might be interested, to help us get the word out. And so that's one of the easiest things you can do is join us on social media, go like a bunch of our posts, share some of our pages that you think are most interesting, most compelling, would make the most difference in the world. Help us get the word out. It's the easiest way to help out. 
Uh, also, if just you're helping out by supporting us energetically and thinking positive thoughts, great. That makes a difference too. If you're just somebody who's watched the end of the video, great. That makes a difference too. For all the people that have donated to our project, that have written to our project, that have commented on any of our posts, all that stuff makes a difference and we are very, very grateful for your support in whatever way works best for you. And so with that said, uh, once again, we're an all volunteer, 100% unpaid nonprofit organization. We appreciate your support. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.